I remember a few years ago, I was sparring with another fighter. Moments after we began, he double jabs me, then boom, kicks me right in the head. This was one of several experiences that I've had with concussion, a mild form of traumatic brain injury, or TBI. What is TBI exactly? Simply put, it is brain damage caused from an external force that leads to brain deformation. It negatively affects memory and behavior, where the most common causes are falls, unintentional trauma, and vehicle collisions. TBI is the leading cause of death and disability for people under 45. Worldwide, there are 10 million hospitalizations and fatalities, and it's estimated that an additional 57 million people have also experienced it. It turns out, New Zealand has the highest incidence of TBI, which means that it's almost certain that each of us here will know someone who has experienced this injury. Today, there is no medication that can promote brain repair or reduce brain damage. And despite decades of research, we have failed to successfully translate this into human clinical trials. And thus, the need to improve brain injury models that can better predict the effectiveness of therapeutic solutions. That is why the goal of my research is to reproduce TBI in the lab and in the computer model. The focus of my research is looking at one common feature of TBI, scar formation. Now, scar formation plays an interesting role initially where it contains the damage at the site of injury, but later on these scars become a barrier to full recovery. Before, to replicate TBI in the lab, I have to make these green devices called actuators. Now, these things are made up of a clear elastic material sandwiched between electrical components, and when turned on, they're able to stretch things. Once made, I take it over to the brain lab, where I put human brain cells in them, and then strengthen those cells. Once damaged, I then use a variety of techniques to analyze and study the biological changes that occur due to the injury. Now, I'm happy to announce that my preliminary results have shown significant gene changes involved in scar formation which suggests that these devices can model TBI. Once I've completed all my experimental work, I will then take all that data, and then using machine learning, I will produce a computer model that can make accurate injury prediction for those who have suffered TBI. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my hope that my research can contribute to the game plan that will not only defeat TBI, but hopefully one day, Knockout for once and for all.